welcome channel my name is Teresa and today I'm going to be doing a foundation first impression review and a little bit of a wear test so like I'm going to pop in throughout the day and just show you how my foundation is looking in like natural light and then inside um so this is the L'Oreal infallible long wear shaping stick foundation and this is not a new product i actually found it on walmart on the clearance in the clearance bin for five dollars and the reason i thought about doing this review even though it is an older product is because in case you're shopping and you find this in the clearance bin and i don't know you want to see how it does I do have normal to dry skin lately, just I would say it's more normal. I'm not really experiencing any dryness in the summer and my skin doesn't really get oily. So, I mean, I do get sweaty, but not like oily. I did just put on the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Base Tape Primer. This is more of like a moisturizing primer because I was at the beach yesterday and I did get some sun and my skin feels a little dry and I want to give this foundation a fair shot. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the foundation. This is $12.99. It retails for $12.99 in L'Oreal's website, but I did find it for $5. And then it says the original price is $9.88 and this is at Walmart. And I know you can find this foundation at Walmart. They have it on L'Oreal's website and CVS and Walgreens. Unfortunately, it's not on Ulta's website no more. I don't know if they're planning on discontinuing this foundation, phase it out, I'm not really sure, but it is popping up in Clarence bins. So this foundation comes in 12 shades, which isn't a huge shade range. Hopefully L'Oreal if they are coming out with a new foundation, they're expanding the shade range. And this foundation claims to be 24 hours, which, you know, a lot of people say they don't wear their foundation for 24 hours, like they don't need that type of coverage. But there are people out there who do wear foundation for 24 hours, like nurses, um, you know, you have doctors that do work the long shifts and it is nice to have something that stays put for that long of time. So, and this foundation also has SPF of 27, which is nice, but this would not be like your total SPF coverage. You, like I always hear people recommend that you put an SPF underneath foundation, no matter what, even if the foundation does have SPF, because once it's in the foundation, it gets sheared out. So it's not gonna give you the, the full protection that you need from the sun. This foundation also claims to be buildable, creamy, and melts into the skin. They claim that it's weightless and it doesn't cake or drag. And the idea of this is it's supposed to be for concealing, contour, and highlight. Like you could get this foundation stick in different shades and you could use it like multi-purpose. And on L'Oreal's website, it has four out of five stars for reviews. Sorry, I keep looking down. I wrote down my notes. And some of the pros are, a lot of people said it has a dewy finish. It lasts longer than liquid foundation. And some cons are, it melts off in humid weather, which it has been very warm here. So I am gonna go outside and, you know, I'm gonna be doing some cleaning. I'm not doing a lot of stuff outside, but I will be going outside. So we'll see how it does. Um, bad shade range is another con, which I totally agree with, and it's hard to blend. So we are going to test out one side with a, a damp sponge. This is the AOA Studio Paw Paw Sponge, and the other side with the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Usually, from in my experience, stick foundations do better with brushes, but we're going to test it all out. And I got mine, I just noticed that this foundation is expired. It expired in May, 2020. <laughs> That's why it was on Clarence. Always be careful, I'm still gonna use it, but I'm just saying you gotta be careful when you find stuff in the Clarence bin. So I'm just gonna start swiping this on my face. And I do have mine in the shade Sans 
stable, which may be too dark for me, honestly, because it was in the clearance bin, you know, you're limited on shade selection. But I did get some sun, so I'm hoping it'll blend in. Okay, so first we're gonna go in with the foundation brush. Like when I first applied it, it did feel pretty creamy, actually. It didn't feel like it tugged or dragged on my skin. And so far, it seems to be blending pretty nice on my skin with the brush. The shade is just a tad too deep. But I figure after concealer and all that, hopefully I get it to work. So this is the side with the brush and so far I think it looks I think it looks nice um I'm not getting like total coverage like I had a pimple right here I'm not getting total coverage over that and you can still see some spots on my skin so I'm sure you could build this up but with one layer I feel like I'm getting like light to medium coverage which is okay. That's fine for me. I'm sure I could build up the foundation, but I don't want to have too much, too many layers on my skin of, you know, makeup, especially when it's warm outside. So here we're trying to blend it with the sponge. And I'm just not getting any blending happening. I feel like I would be here all day. I'm gonna have to do a little dragging. Definitely not as much coverage as the brush side and it was really hard to blend. I'm gonna have to go over. I'm gonna go, so as of right now, I definitely prefer this foundation with the brush. I'm just gonna go over a tiny bit more on this side with the brush just to even out the coverage. Okay, this, so this is how the foundation looks. Just this, pretty much just one layer. Um, light, medium coverage. I do feel it on my face, so I wouldn't say it was weightless. And I don't agree with the dewy finish. I think it's like more like a natural finish. I wouldn't say it was extremely matte, but I wouldn't say it was very dewy either. And I'm sure after I set it down with powder, it won't have like any, you know, satin to it. So I am going to show you real quick me applying concealer and powder just so you get a feel of how it looks, you know, with those products. Because for me, I feel like, like foundation, it's nice to get some coverage from foundation, but I like to use concealer you know, concealer to get anything that the foundation didn't cover. And this is my e.l.f. Hydro Concealer, Can Hydro Camo Concealer in Fair Beige. And I'm gonna go over some of my, my spots. And I'm gonna blend it out with my Paw Paw sponge. Or I might just use my finger. And I'm just gonna go over with the sponge and pick up any excess product and make sure it's all blended. So far, I feel like my skin looks natural. Like I can feel that there's something, there's product on my face, but my skin doesn't look like there's a lot of product on my face. And it just looks natural. And I can see, you know, I can see imperfections through it, but that doesn't bother me too much. I just like that it like evened out my skin tone. Now I'm gonna set my face with my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I always like to set my face. With this type of foundation, I feel like it would wipe off and transfer. Like I feel like if I was on my phone or if I just like had an itch and wiped, I feel like it would come right off. So I do, I always like to set my face. Okay, my skin is set. It feels, I no longer feels like there's product in my skin. Like it definitely feels nice and more smooth. I, I enjoy the finish better with the powder. 
And I would say it feels more light weightless with the powder on it. Okay, I'm gonna finish up my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, my makeup is all complete today. I'm kind of disappointed in my eyeshadow. I wanted more of like a mint green and I looked through my collection and surprisingly, I don't own anything with mint green. So that will be have to be on my uh, shopping list to find a mint palette. I know ColourPop has a beautiful mint palette. But anyways, I did use the Butter London eyeshadow palette that I got in Box Charm a while ago. This is like the closest shade I had to what I was looking for, but wasn't quite what I wanted. Anyways, the rest of my makeup went on just fine. Um, I thought the bronzer, the blush, the highlight blended just fine on top of it. And so far, my skin looks fine. It, you know, it is a little shiny on my forehead, actually. But the rest of my face looks fine. So it is one o'clock. I know it's a little late in the day. I'm going to do some check-ins and show you how it looks in different lightings and let you know my thoughts throughout the day. Okay, see you in a little bit. Okay, here's for another check-in. It is 3.30, so I've had this foundation on for about an hour and a half and it's pretty warm and I just walked to the store. I would say my skin looks very shiny right now. But the foundation is still intact. Okay, I made it home. It was hard to uh, talk and walk and I couldn't see very well to actually see. But yeah, my skin feels kind of like oily on my forehead. And normally I don't get oily. Like my T-zone, my chin feels oily. I don't know, the foundation's starting to feel kind of like heavy and sticky on my skin. Like I don't like it. It doesn't feel like weightless like they claim. And as for like sinking into like pores or wrinkles, I don't think it's doing anything different than any other foundation would, honestly. Hmm. I don't know, just so far very oily feeling and yeah, my my little line is sticking out, but that usually happens. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Hi. So this is my second check-in. It is just about six o'clock, so this foundation's been on for five hours now. I'm just sitting in my basement because it's cool in my basement. I have a little couch set up with the TV and stuff. Um, I know the last check-in after I did my walk, I wasn't liking the way the foundation felt or looked when it was hot. But it did, like, after I cooled down, it did settle. My forehead still does feel kind of greasy feeling. But the rest of my face feels okay. I did have dinner and, like, I had a napkin. I was eating corn on the cob, so I was wiping my face. So a lot of the foundation is off my chin area, but I don't think it's that noticeable. And I'm actually, like, the blush is sticking well to this foundation. I feel like my blush usually doesn't last this long. And my nose as well. I, I Foundation always, like, disappears off my nose, and it is sticking to my nose very, very well. So, I mean, in the heat, it didn't feel great, but as soon as I cooled down, it feels better. And I feel like it also, it like settled well into my skin, if that makes any sense. And I haven't powdered, I haven't done anything to my face. So, right now, I'm actually, I'm actually happy right now. So, I don't think it does well in the humidity, but doing fine now oh and I also did wear a face mask earlier and I didn't notice any of the product coming off this area just when I ate and I used a napkin to wipe my face which I mean what foundation would you know last through wiping <laughs> but yeah
Okay, I'm probably going to come in and check in one more time, probably before I wash off my makeup, just to let you know how I feel at the end of the night. All right, see you soon. Okay, so here is my final check-in. It's a little after 7, so I only had the foundation on for a little over 6 hours. The L'Oreal Infallible Long Wear Shaping Stick Foundation. So my face does feel very shiny. It did get kind of oily, and I feel like every single one of my pores is standing out. Um... And the foundation did wear off in this side of the nose. So I have it on this side, none on this side. So I don't think it's like 24 hour, the claim is right. Do I think it's a bad foundation? I think it's like average. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's awesome either. I mean, maybe L'Oreal is improving their formula and they're gonna come out with more shade range. That's why. You know, it's in the Clarence bin because it is a little bit of older product. But I'll try to give you a close up. Like you could see where the foundation wore off. And like on my forehead too. But I also didn't touch up either. And it was a humid day so this foundation could work better in, you know, cooler weather. But I do have normal to dry, so for, I don't know how this would work for oily skin types. If you have oily skin types, let us know in the just, uh, comment section what you think about this foundation if you tried it. But yeah, that is it for my day. Oh, and I also did workout. I did a 15 minute workout. Uh, Denise Austin, she has like a YouTube channel and there's old videos and stuff. I did like a 15 minute like cardio walk thing. I'll link the video in the description box in case you're looking for some like a workout video. I love Denise Austin. She's a little bit old school, but that's what I like about her. Um, and her exercises aren't, they're, I don't want to say they're easy, but they're not as intense as other ones out there, especially because I'm, you know, I'm not in the best shape and it, it's just a little bit easier for me, but some of her workouts can be challenging. And like I did this resistant band one on my arms and my arms are still sore from like two days ago. But yeah, if you're not already, I would love for you to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.